Who you guys go at it, eh? <laughs> get him, dude, get him, get him! Oh, he's coming back for more, man. He's coming back for more. Morning, Diesel. Morning. It's actually afternoon already. Yeah, and this truck is a pigsty diesel. Is there pigs living here or what? What's going on in here? Oh, you live in here. Uh, I do. Yes, I do. I'm a bit of a pig, I guess, if you want to call me out. Whatever! I know where everything is. That's all that matters. It is clean and neat to me. Look at this. I got this all organized. I got munchies and snacks right there. Mixed in with a bit of junk. Paper towels there with a little bit more junk. And a bunch of junk here. And a bunch of junk there. See, I know exactly where all my junk is. I actually have everything everywhere and everything's uh, all over the place like this and everything because I am cleaning house today. Uh, I just did laundry, that's why all this is here. I gotta vacuum the whole floor yet, but first I gotta get my bedding done. I just washed my bedding, so I gotta get my bed set up so I can put everything on the bed, get everything off the floor, and then I can vacuum the floor. And once I vacuum the floor, I can put everything back on the floor. And once everything's back on the floor, then I can start doing this kind of stuff up here. Cleaning this. See, this is just, it looks messy, but there's just, you know, cords going around here. My bowl here, treats and mouthwash and all kinds of stuff. It's just not really organized. Have I ever told you how great, where is it? This movie is Transformers Age of Extinction. Oh, I love Transformer movies. It's so good. And I bought this movie the other day. Uh, Live, Die, Repeat. It's got aliens in it. So obviously I'm interested in it. It's, I don't know, I'm fascinated by aliens. The possibilities. What if? What if? So Diesel, are you gonna help with this mess or what? This is what my house looks like uh, when I'm sitting, when I'm not driving. See, I got the whole curtain that goes around the window like that there. I have it idling right now because it is hot in Georgia. It is hot. You guys would not believe how hot, okay, you probably believe me how hot it is because a lot of you live down here. And it's not even summertime. I'm melting. Like I went outside, I walked from here to the building. Yeah, I don't know. How far would it be, 500 feet or I don't know, I don't know. I'll show you. I walked from here to the building. Over there, you see it? Just behind the pumps over there. And I just about died. You just about had no more Trucker Josh. Georgia Heat just about took him out. Good thing Diesel reminded me to pack some Gatorade for the trip to the store <laughs> across the parking lot. I needed it. I was thirsty by the time I got there. Is that bad? I need to get out and do more running. Maybe we'll go for a run later. Diesel, we need to get back in shape. You need to go for a run too. You do more running than I do. Okay guys, so I don't know what's gonna happen today. Uh, I may be going a little further down the road, I'm not too sure. Uh, but if not, I want my first priority right now is to get this truck clean. Because either way, whether or not if I stay here or if I go down the road, either way works, it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's get this truck cleaned up. It seems like an overwhelming task right now, but it'll only take probably like an hour and everything will be done. Oh, I also bought a new computer game that I'm kind of addicted to. I don't play computer games much because I don't have time, right? But I bought this. Do any of you play this? Civilization. Fascinating. Fascinating. You start off in like the Stone Age and whatnot, and then you uh, slowly progress as a society. You know, you wage war and you conquer land. And the whole goal of the game, for me anyway, is to take over the world. So watch out everybody, I'm coming. Taking over the world. Oh, it is good to get outside and get out of the truck. I did my laundry today. I cleaned up the truck today, organized it, and it's still hot out. It's a beautiful day though. Look at this place. It's a little bit windy, I know. Look at this place. Uh, 
That's a beautiful day if I've ever seen one. That's why we went out. We're gonna go out for a walk, stretch our legs. See what I mean though by these truck stops sit down here? Or like in the middle of nowhere, sort of. Not in the middle of nowhere, but I mean like they're not like right in town. Which is good, right? Because residents don't want trucks uh, in the neighborhoods overnight, right? Because it's loud, they're idling, coming and going. Lots of truck traffic is just... It's annoying when you're trying to get a good night's sleep and you're not used to that, right? For me, that puts me to sleep, but a lot of people, they're not used to that. So that's why they don't put these truck stops in and around congested areas, which makes sense. But at the same time, it makes it very hard for me to explore, because there's nothing to explore, really. <laughs> Except for Diesel. He doesn't need much to explore. He's like, just give me some grass and a tree, and I'm happy, man. That's all I need. So why, can you let me go a little further here? Oh, yeah, that good choice. That is a solid little tree, man. Potential. Potential to be a big tree one day. Totally understand why I picked that one. Like usual, we found ourselves some nature. It's not quite the nature we're used to. There's so many people in this part of the continent that there's constantly the sound of traffic. But just back here, this is a beautiful piece of property. There's a fence here, so I can't go further than this. But there was a bunch of cows there just a few minutes ago. It's gonna take Diesel here to say hello, but they didn't seem too interested. They just kept on going and moseyed on over there that way. Eating grass. This almost looks like it's mowed. Like this whole area, this pasture. Do the cows really keep it that short or do you mow it? I don't know. Nice piece of property though. Beautiful area. Beautiful. If I just like, show you just this area and you ignore that sound of that car, doesn't it seem like I'm in a jungle or a big forest? <laughs> We're just down the street from the truck stop. We figured, now eh, we'd go explore a little bit, see what's around this area. Found us some bushes. Look at these vines that are growing up around this tree here, eh? Isn't that strange? You can tell on that big tree back there where it used to be. It obviously snapped off because the tree got too big, I guess. Wow, those vines just grow right up there. These are like those vines, it looks like those vines that Tarzan swings off of, you know? Hanging down here all over the place. Maybe Tarzan's in the bush here, Diesel. Tarzan's here? What do you see? Do you see a cow again? Oh, there's a cow over there. <laughs> do you see him, man? You to calm down. You gotta stay on this side of the fence. See if I can zoom in on him. Look at him. Is that a cow, man? That's just sitting there staring. <laughs> That's a real cow, man. It's a real one. Don't bark, you'll scare them away. Oh, there's another one over there. They're all staring at us. <laughs> and Diesel's just pumped. Oh, can't go in there, Diesel, I'm sorry. Bunch of black cows, they look delicious. Black cows, does that mean they're Angus cows? Is that what that is? Some farmers tell me what, what kind of cow that is. Completely black. There he is. In all his glory. <laughs> well, there's two of them now. Oh, look at that. Yeah, follow the leader. Diesel, did this make your day or what? <laughs> make your day or what? Oh, all right. Told you there were cows in there, man. I could sniff them. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to head back to the truck. We've been out here for a while. I want to take a shower yet. And then uh, we'll see where we're at then. See, this is what I don't like about these roads down here, though. There's no shoulders. Where are we supposed to walk? What if you break down or something? Where are you supposed to park your broken down car? Mm. You need shoulders, I think. You see, every time a car comes past, we gotta go right into the ditch and wait for it to pass. Because the cars here don't, you know, go into the next lane to go around you. It is a double solid line, I understand. But, uh, you know, a pedestrian, usually, you know, you give them a little bit extra room. Oh no, I stand in the ditch right there. The cars have just been <laughs> zooming past here, right in the lane, right next to me. Oh, yeah. Thanks guys. I know there's not a sidewalk here, but 
just want to explore without getting run over. You want to explore a little bit. It's the only place I can explore. You build your truck stop out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh well. Diesel had fun anyways. He got to see his cow. So this is my day today, guys. Laundry, cleaning, gandering at cows, and now a shower after this. And that's the day. <laughs> that's a reset on the road. When nothing much more you can do. If there was a town around here, I'd go and explore that and go out to eat or something. But... Oh well. See what I mean? At least they got the ditch mowed here so I could go into the ditch without a problem. But, oh well. Oh, Diesel, is our buddy back over there? Oh, I see him, man, I see him. Look at him, you got someone to play with. <laughs> That's right, give him a good sniff, let him sniff you. Oh boy. This poor dog is just a stray around here, but he won't let me touch him. Hey buddy, are you gonna let me touch you today? You wanna be on you wanna be on YouTube? What's your name? Wanna come live the good life? No? He's gonna go mark that tree that you marked, Diesel. Sorry, you just lost your tree, bud. It's his tree now. Oh, he's gonna go mark the other one too. Oh that greedy guy. Yeah, you might eat greedy, man. You can't have all the trees. <laughs> What's your name, buddy? Look at you guys go at it, eh? <laughs> get him, dude, get him, get him! Oh, he's coming back for more, man. He's coming back for more. <laughs> Diesel finally has someone to play with. Probably love it a lot more if he hadn't wouldn't be on this leash, but I really don't know this stray dog. Seems friendly though. Seems to be in good health. <laughs> you get him, dude. You head about him, man. <laughs> Good boy, man. They're just playing friendly. They're not biting each other. At least not hard. You can tell they're not mad. They're just having fun. <laughs> See, he likes Diesel, but as soon as I reach out for him... Oh, oh, that's as cool as he's let me get. Come on, buddy. Hey. See? See? I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Come on, buddy. He always just sits right out of... Who are you? Why are you here? Diesel's very concerned. Hey, buddy. You keep getting closer and closer. Are you going to come say hi yet or what? Poor guy. He's been here all night. Good thing it doesn't get cold here like it does in Canada. Oh, he just goes and sits over there. I don't know why he won't let me touch him. He obviously has a fear of humans. I'm guessing he's probably been abused in the past. It's sad. That diesel. He doesn't like humans to touch him, and you can't get enough of humans. You guys are opposites. And he's an intact male as well. That guy over there. I don't know. It's been the excitement for the day. Found a friend. But he doesn't want to be my friend. It's not very nice. Not very nice. I want to be your friend. Why won't he be my friend, Diesel? Translate. I don't speak dog. Anyways, yeah. I guess we're just going to leave him. I mean, I'd like to take him home, but maybe he belongs to somebody around here. If he does, they're not doing a very good job of keeping him on their yard. He just lives at the truck stop. He was sleeping here all night, even when I went into the store late at night he was still there sleeping under a trailer which is kind of scary because you know you hope he'd wake up before the trailer runs him over in the morning that's why it's a good idea i guess to get up and check to make sure that there is nothing underneath there right but, yeah. oh well poor guy this shower here is a little extra fancy look at this they got this whole border thing going around here Look at this sink, it's all like one piece. Nice. The soap down there and everything. Nice. I haven't actually seen a flying jay shower this nice in a while. Cool. Well guys, I told you it wasn't going to be much of a day, but that's the day. Uh, I'm going to go to bed right now. 
and uh, carry on in the morning. It's gonna be a hot night because I just noticed that my air conditioning stopped working. So we got all the windows open, got the fan on, we'll be okay. It's better than freezing to death, right? My bunk heater's not working properly either. I gotta get that looked at too. So bunk heater's not working, air conditioning's not working. So we'll just get her fixed in the morning and keep a smile on our face. <laughs> okay guys, have a good night. 4 a.m. tomorrow, I'll see you then.